I am so excited for this story that I'm about to wet my plants. No, literally, they need a little bit of watering. So today I'm at Summers Past Farms. It's a small family run business in Flynn Springs in the foothills of San Diego, just 30 minutes east of downtown. That's what I need, my third cup of coffee. <laughs> Cheryl, this is I, not your standard farm per se. That's right. This is just something that I totally enjoy that makes me really happy being surrounded by flowers. You have a fun backstory because you used to be really into cooking. You always wanted an herb garden. I think your husband was a builder, right? How did like this all come about? You know, it's just a matter of opportunity. You know, I had ideas of going to culinary school and I had my dream of that. And then we moved out here and it really was a parcel of, I'll say dirt. A and parcel of um, dirt. it was dirt. And there really even wasn't a fence around here. So what you see around us, all these trees, was all a Marshall's vision. It literally became a dream, I guess. You wake up one day, let's build a garden, let's build a store. And he just dreamed of the post and timber barn. And we got started. So, okay, what do we have here? I know we've, you've got little like fairy gardens that people can check out. We have paths to walk down and it's fun to explore. I'm sitting in the garden. Right now it's filled with the blue star flowers. I just think it's absolutely precious. You make your own soap too? We make soap. And I think that came from me, my cooking background. I like to create things and give things. You know, if you bake and cook too much, it's kind of a lot of calories. So making soap was really like, this is great. It smells good. I always smell good. I yeah. think when you came I know, today. I, I walked in, I said, is that you or the garden? Because something smells delicious. Yeah, but making soap was so unique. It is something that we all can do. And I've been making soap since 1992. I like this place because it's just like a little oasis that you didn't even know was here, huh? It is. We see that in people. They get out of their car and they just kind of come down the path. They head out to the grass and they spread out their blanket and they play. The kids can run around. We have a hay fort in the back. We have really cute little chickens in the chicken coop. And the kids just play. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for having me. Cheers. 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 <laughs> That is more than a garden. That no. is like an oasis, like it farm. Is. It's beautiful. I, it's so she really did a good job transforming it. Oh, yeah. she did. And the <laughs> thing is, um, you can like rent it for weddings and stuff. Oh, you know, oh, people cool. can go picnic there. But in essence, they are a store. So you can go buy her soap. They've got a coffee shop there. So it's a cool place to hang out, you know, and help support her small business because yeah. that's what she is, small business owner. And that was soap, not cheese. At first, I <laughs> thought those are blocks of cheese. Big block <laughs> of soap.